guys, so I'm going to be doing a foundation um, routine video for you. I just did the skincare one, so check that out. Um, so if you guys see like a light shining on my face right here, yeah, that's my mirror thing. So don't mind that. Um, yeah, so here we go. So first I put on Revlon Color Stay in Normal to Dry Skin in 110, which is ivory. Yeah, I have really light skin. And I have foundation brushes and stuff, but I typically just use a sponge thing, like a clean one, just because it's easy. Well, it's, I don't know. I just always fall back on that. Okay, so you're going to put a little bit of that on a spongy. And then, whoa, sorry. And then you're just going to... And you're going to want to put that under the chin. Just close it. So now I have that all applied. Oh, and I try to, but I normally don't do it. I try to um, put face primer on. This is just Clean Slate by Tarte. Yeah. And then I'm going to take this concealer, if it's right side up, Dream Mousse Concealer in Fair. And a Concealer, see this is my other foundation brush. It also has like a concealer thing on it. Put that in, um, let's see. Right below my eyebrows because I just got them waxed. And they're still a little red. I'm just going to put it all on my lid. Even out that. And then I'm going to put some right here, right here, sorry if I keep looking away from the camera on my mirrors, tempting me. Put some in. Right here. Yeah, so if you see any sh weird shadows, I tend to have a little bit of dark circles. And it could also be my mirror, so. Oh, this is harder. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this, um, it is a stippling brush diffuser um, number 44. Got it at Sephora. Sorry, it's pretty dirty. This is supposed to be white, but whatever. And it gives this more of like an airbrush finish, so it doesn't look all cakey and stuff. And I don't like I don't like it when skin looks cakey. Okay. And then... Sorry. And then I'm going to take a trans... It's called Translucide by L'Oreal Paris. And it's a vitamin C translucent powder. It's number 956. I love this stuff. So I'm going to take this stippling brush... I know a lot of people probably don't do this, but I do, so whatever. And then, do 
try to blend this stuff down. fingertip sprayer thing. It was like a dollar at Sally Beauty Supply. And I just put water in it. And I like to use this. It makes me, I don't know if it works, but it makes me feel like I'm less cakey. So I just spray some of that. And I don't have any lip or lip um, balm up here right now, but normally I put on lip balm. Just fan this. I don't know. Does it make me look less cakey? I don't know. Um. So I have. Pink Leopard by Too Faced, and that's just like a bronzer powder, or I mean, um, bronzer, what's the word, blush mix. But I also use, um, Mineral Power Finishing Veil, which is, it's really dark, but if you put it on nice and light and contour with it, it's really good. And then I also use this, it's called Cheekers Fashion Blush, and it's like a pinky color. So, you can mix these two their like drugstore and then get a similar color to this okay and then um so I take this brush this is kind of angled I don't know it's rounded but thin yeah and I'm gonna use pink leopard today so I just take some of that and swirl it all around and then And see, I don't like how my nose is like thick. So I try to take some, go like this across, like right here. So it creates, sometimes works, creates a shadow on my nose. Thins it out. And then I want to start doing my eyebrows because my eyebrows are really light typically. But, um, yeah, that's my normal foundation routine. Maybe I'll put some makeup on in the next video. Um, yeah, hope you like it. Bye.